everyone, it's Reverend Peter here from the church. Welcome back to school. I have a poem for you today and it's called If I Were a Bug. If I were a bug, what bug would I be? A bee perhaps with hairy knees collecting pollen from flowers and trees. Or a caterpillar that with effort tries to get ready to be a butterfly. Or a spider who, whatever the weather, can make even adults scream in dreaded terror. If I was a bird, what bird would I be? A parrot, perhaps, copying me, eating hard nut from a Brazil nut tree. Or a blue tit, which, although is small, in a garden is the most pretty of all. Or a vulture, flying by as fast as a comet, but eat rotten meat that makes most people vomit. If I were a pet, what pet would I be? A guinea pig, perhaps, who's good at hiding in big things and small things without even trying. Or a cat that leaps from low to high and snatches birds right out of the sky. Or a dog that dribbles and slobbers and licks, who can learn to do the coolest tricks. If I was a person, who would I be? Perhaps Simon Cowell. He's off the telly with nice clothes and shoes and cologne that's real smelly. Or the Prime Minister who rules from London with power and influence in abundance. Or, I know, Beyonce. She's clever and kind, writes songs and sings them and speaks her mind. No, they're not right. Not right for me. A bug, perhaps, is smart and can crawl, but none of them can play sports at school. A bird is colourful and a high flyer, but none of them can sing in the school choir. These people are great, but fall short, you see. They're great at being them, but I think I'll stick to being me. If I could be anything, what would I be? That's easy, I think. I'd stick with me. For that's who God made me to be. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, God said, and even knows every hair on my head. Yes, sometimes I go wrong. And God says, OK, let's try again. But this time I'll lead the way. I wonder, boys and girls, what's it like being you? I think sometimes we get caught up trying to be like somebody else or to be someone else. And we forget that actually God made you special and he loves you very much. Someone clever once said, be yourself, everybody else is taken. So as we come out to school today, I'd like to say a prayer. And if you want to join in, you can join in with our big Amen at the end. Otherwise, we sit nice and still and listen. Let's pray. Lord God, you are always with us. You are with us in the day and in the night. You are with us when we're happy and when we're sad. You are with us when we're healthy and when we're ill. You are with us when we're peaceful and when we're worried. This week at school returns, we ask you to be with everyone, no matter how we think or feel about going back. Help us to remember that you love us and are with us in everything we experience this week. Amen. Well, boys and girls, that's it for me today. I hope you have a brilliant week and you're really glad to be back, I hope. I'm sure your teachers are so pleased to see you. And until I see you next time, remember, God made you special and he loves you very much. Mm -hmm.